What is up my little jelly beans? Woo -hoo, woo -hoo. I'm so excited how this came out. I love it. I hope you guys do too. If you guys want to learn how I did this look, keep on watching. So starting off by blocking out my eyebrows, this was actually very hard to do. I will go ahead and put the link down below in the description box on how to block out your brows because that is a whole different video on how to do that. And honestly, this was actually my third try. So you can see me taking off the whole glue again. And the third time was the best one for me, in my opinion. And I just thought it was going to be easy because I've seen RuPaul Drag Race and they just do it so easy. I was to a point where I was going to be like Valentina and shave off my eyebrows for this video. <laughs> this is the best I can do. Um, with blocking out my eyebrows so yeah please don't judge my looks so using the orange concealer I was color correcting my eyebrows and canceling out the darkness of it and I had applied too much so I put it under my eyes with a full coverage foundation I went ahead and applied the L'Oreal infallible total coverage because that one's like really good coverage I just kept blending and blending trying to blend out those eyebrows <laughs> With the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Natural, I went ahead and tried to conceal my eyebrows again. I'm trying to make them look like they're not there. So, uh, it was just so horrible with my eyebrows. So yeah, with a brow pencil, I went ahead and started to outline my eyes because I needed to figure out how I wanted to shape them. And I was just trying to copy the picture, the one that I was trying to like be. <laughs> With a eyeliner pen, I went ahead and traced my eyes again just so I can darken it up and actually see how my eye shape is. With the bottom lashes, I just kind of flicked it out and it just it worked. Look at those eyelashes. Look how pretty they are. And then right here, it's kind of tricky because of the pupils. I'm trying to connect it with my actual pupils. So yeah. And look at those eyebrows. So horrible. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> and then don't be afraid that if you make any mistake like me right there. Um, I have not put powder in my face. So I felt like it was easier to go ahead and scratch it off. And even then, like I'm going to apply concealer right now. So I can just kind of like clean it up. At this point right here, what I did, I was putting my fake crease so where my eyebrows are at that's gonna be where my crease is at the part where I'm outlining right now is like my new eyelid so it took me a couple tries <laughs> but with the NYX jumbo pencil in the shade milk which is white I'm just filling in my eye and then I will be setting it with white eyeshadow or you can use translucent powder if you like Picking up green and blue, I will be filling in my pupils, which is like right there, right under my actual pupils. I'm just trying to go ahead and match the color of my contacts right here. So I think I did a pretty good job at matching my contacts. Very surprised. <laughs> and then picking up these two shades as my transition color, I will be applying it basically on my eyebrows. Picking up pink, I will be applying it all over my eyelid. This is my base for when I do put glitter and none of my skin actually shows. So that's why I'm just putting a little bit of pink real quick. I've been feeling myself right here. Picking up NYX Glitter Primer, I will be applying it all over my eyelid. And before it dries up, I will be applying glitter very quickly so it picks up all of it. And look at those eyebrows, so disgusting. <laughs> I decided to darken up my crease, so yeah, I'm just blending it out with the crease brush. Then I picked up the e.l.f. cream gel, and this is like, 
it's cream gel so it's a lot easier to go ahead and glide on your eyelid and everything so I'm outlining again my eyes for the final touch and making it super dark and just going ahead going with my eyes, the pupil, my lashes, my crease. You will see right now how I go ahead and start outlining everything. And I'm using a small angle brush for this. And I kind of made a mistake right here. Like look how thick I made it. And then I put like two lines right there as you can tell. So I just kind of like scratched it up after it dried up a little. And then I just kind of flaked my lashes as you can tell right there and it just comes out really good. This was my first attempt doing my eyebrow and I hated it. Look how straight it looks. It's just, it needs that arch, baby girl. It needs that arch, girl. So um, I recommend doing a practice one on your forearm before you actually do it on your face and then having to wipe it off all over again. So while I was waiting for my foundation to set, I did my other eye and then I was doing the lashes. So as you can tell, I'm doing the lashes going from my lash line and then up. I actually recommend going down. That's what I did with my other eye and it just came out way much easier and better. Because of the glitter, it was being in the way. So that's why I was like struggling when I was trying to flick it up and it wasn't looking cute like the bottom ones. And then picking up the LA Girl Concealer in the shade Natural, I just went ahead and highlighted all over where I normally do. And then with my forehead, I highlighted like the majority of my forehead because I was trying to make my forehead more big because brats do have big ass heads. <laughs> I went ahead and like put it under my eyes, which is actually like my cheeks that I'm like concealing. <laughs> so yeah. And then I really didn't contour, I just bronzed up my face instead because I felt like I didn't really need to contour. I was setting my concealer with just those two shades. With the blush, I went ahead and put it like a little bit lower than where my cheeks are normally because where my cheeks are actually at is my under eyes. So yeah, I just put it a little bit lower as you can tell right there. This was my second attempt doing my eyebrow and this one was worse than the first one because it's so thick and then it's short. Like, look at it. The arch is there. It's just so thick and short, which is not cute. Like, oh, it's so horrible. But look how easy I do the third one. Look at it. In seconds. Voila. There it is. I didn't want to touch anymore. <laughs> because brats do have, like, nice thin arch brows that's what I was trying to do again I took off the eyebrow oh my gosh let's hope I get it right this time and yes finally so with the nude NYX lip liner pencil I went ahead and overlined my lips because they have big ass lips too and then I put a little bit of NYX glitter primer and glitter all over my lips I picked up the NYX white eyeliner and I was trying to make 3D dimension to my pupils so I just did like little squares or triangle shapes that you want to do to make your pupils look glossy. And then I just applied highlighter and look at that crazy ass hair I have. <laughs> Picking up green and blue again I put in my waterline because I didn't want my naked skin to show in between my contacts and my fake pupil so I was just trying to like combine it. Picking up some dramatic lashes and yeah, that's pretty much it. Look at me now. I'm glossing. I'm the first one. Dun, ba, bow, ba, 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 ba. And this is the end of the look. I just added different accessories. I added these glasses. I added a different necklace, a choker actually. And then my fur coat, you guys seen this before. And I made it all pink just because like that's what the picture is. All pink, cute and everything. And I really don't have anything 
to really connect with that picture other than just pink. Yeah, I'm getting ready to go to sleep soon, so yeah. I wish I could go somewhere right now so people can see me because I like it. Oh, and if you guys do do this and your hand doesn't look like this in the end, you're not doing it right. Better. Subscribe down below if you guys haven't. Do it, do it. Rats, baby, baby rats.